This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapse... I'll Shattering do my best! Pieces. Take Get behind me! Demon Peg! Hard head weak now! Get ready to go! Far enough! Uh, not today! They're and ready. I, I never say! Got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! All yours! Now I can let loose! I'm gone! Demon Fang! Prepare to be sealed, though. It's over! But actually, perhaps that is more lesson. appropriate. Let's talk more doing! Try harder! Demon Fang! Demon Fang! The flame inside me here to be let free. Holy land! Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. Got three and It's go time! Now you see what I can do! With precision like that, I'm glad you're not on the other side. Likewise for you and that shield. It's best to stay in one another's good graces, then. No complaints here! I'll be saving this one. I I think I'm getting stronger. supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zuko cages. Definitely looks like this is where the remnants of Volron's forces hold themselves up. Yeah. They were hiding in a place like this all along.
Take a look at it. I was improving. Is every shield you own that big? Here. You want to try holding it? Look. This might be some decent equipment. Anything that makes battles easier is okay by me. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose, anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renes Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell. Are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure. But it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the Wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. 
It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelegian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. It could be worth something. Like we won. It sure got cold all of a sudden after we passed the peak. La. Yeah, we're getting close. No 
complaints from me. Just watch and see. We want that by a mile. a blip on our radar. Seriously? Is this a joke? It's over! You picked the wrong fight! I never miss! Leave the ensnaring to me! Yeah! And the bubble to me! Demon Fang! I'm going in! Demon Fang! This one's mine! Win! Do it! Demon Fang! Hurricane! Can't get out of it! We turn the tables on him! There are still more left! Right! No time to hold back! Here I come! That's what I like to hear. We got some good equipment. It. I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. We made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. That's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. One of your friends, Hoodle?
sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Oh, good. We can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Haros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out. That'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. Sure never expected to run into Bregan. Cislodia's probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure's slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Haros should be in good hands, at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other Resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait. Do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Haros would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menensea. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we've visited. That's true. And each and every connection we've forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, 
Let's focus on the task at hand. like this in Cislodia. Benincia was most fortunate, I see. I think it's safe to rest here now. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Well, if it ain't the Blazing Sword and his merry crew. Mahavar? I can't believe you're still alive. Course I am! If you landlubbers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't too. Yeah, but that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. I'll water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating though, I'll admit. Really? What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the outside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, crazy fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang-up job, because she's better than ever now. Speaking of which, I take it she's why you're here? Yes. We need to get out on the ocean, and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute to think it over, Alfin. He hasn't even said yes yet. It's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks.
this thing already looked plenty huge from afar. Seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? That they think they're beyond our reach. Still, this structure is quite the unusual sight. Truth be told, never seen anything like it. You're right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenegas at all. Or like any Renan structure, for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside, either. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. I'm okay. It's nothing. Well, what do we do now? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. <sighs> Rinwell? Over there? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I... You okay? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah. I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. This seems like a trap, right? It's not a trap! How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However, it's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Let's trust Rinwell on this. You sure? Yeah. Eh, it beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. Huh? Oh, uh, right. Stay sharp. We're going in. 